everyone, it's Fiona again from Lavender Blue. Welcome back to my channel. And today I thought I would do a video about um, art journaling and the different types of journals that you can use or different types of books and things that you can use for um, art journaling. So I'm just going to move these out the way. First of all, um, you can journal, art journal in your junk journal. So I've done a few sessions um, in this particular journal. Um, the last one that I did in my new series, which is Let's journal. Um, we did this one, and this was just a collage page. So I did this one on the tea dyed paper. So you can see in a junk journal, you've got lots of different papers um, that you can use. And I've also added some, um, some where is it, watercolor paper to this journal so that I can also use um, wet media and it's, um, the paper's going to hold all the layers. So um, that's the only thing that I would suggest that if um, you're going to be using a lot of wet media and a lot of paint and a lot of layers is to include some watercolour paper in your junk journal if that's where you'd like to journal. Um, but you can also use your ordinary papers, your scrapbooking papers, your book pages, your coffee dyed paper, even um, a thin paper like this um, this dictionary page. Um, but I would cover it with gesso first. So gesso is a is a primer, which um, if you buy a canvas, normally it's primed with gesso already. And so then your paper will hold the layers um, a lot better. So, um, yep, that's the first idea. You can do some journaling in your junk journal. And obviously art journaling can be just collage. It can be... Um, Collage, paint, um, paint pens, markers, stamping, stenciling, anything really. So that's why it's called mixed media because it's all mixed up. So that's um, junk journal. And now I also use a lot of these. Um, Visual art diaries. They're just A4 visual art diaries and they've got the, um, the spiral binding here. And the papers are, um, the papers are, are really like drawing papers, but they're reasonably thick and um, I use them for sketching as well as for. Painting. I just cover them with gesso or um, like sort of collage over the page first before I would paint over the top. So they're pretty sort of heavy-ish papers. As you can see, I've done quite a bit of sketching in this one. Um, it's really old. It's falling apart. And my, um, my grandkids often draw and paint in these journals as well. So, so that one and I've got quite a few of those. You can also get these canvas pads. So they're a canvas paper and they are acrylic gesso primed already and these ones I've got here are from Montnati. Um, so, yep, I've done some 
six me here in this one. Still got quite a lot left to go. That's it's just it's like using a canvas, but it's a a canvas paper, so that works really well. Little sketchbooks like this one. I have this little uh, sketchbook here that I've used and practiced with different media and things. And this one's from, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, sorry, my camera just, <laughs> my camera just fell down then. Just fix that up. Sorry about that, I hope I didn't make you too dizzy. Hopefully that's going to stay up there now. I don't have a very good setup at the moment, so I need to get a better setup. Um, so this is fairly thick paper. Um, I'm not sure. It's 140 GSM. So it's a bit like a cardstock. But um, it, it's, it's a really good one if you would just want to little, do a little small project. Um, I have another one of the visual art diaries here. Oh, this one's Dale Rowney sketchbook. It's 160 GSM. So I've done some like wet media in here because this was done using acrylics, I think. Um, same with this one. And I think they might have been done using acrylics, but also um, you've got like um, water soluble crayon. Um, I used to use those a fair bit. So, and I haven't even gessoed these pages, so it's not too bad. Um, this one I've gessoed and I've um, collaged behind her before I actually painted her, so it's nice and thick. There's another one. It's actually funny looking through all these because I haven't, for a long time, and I've sort of forgotten what I've done and what I haven't done. So. You can see that's what my grandkids having a paint there. Um, done. What have I got done? Pages all stuck together. So you'll see that I haven't actually filled up one completely because I I just sort of go use whichever one I feel like using on the day. Um, there's a beach scene there that I didn't even realise I'd done that one. Um, so yeah, and these are good for sketching as well. And just black and white. I think I've just used some charcoal pencil and some white gesso on that one there. I quite like doing that. Um, sorry, that's another one. Another visual art diary from Montmartre, 110 GSM. And same thing again. Done a little sketching, and there's a lot of drawings in here that I've forgotten that I've had. Sometimes I sketch things out to get an idea for a painting, so I'm going to have to get onto those and actually make a painting out of them. And I plan on doing some uh, like mixed media art courses in the future. I just haven't got around to filming any yet, but I like to, you can probably tell that I really like to draw and paint mixed media faces. So that's what a lot of my drawings are. And so that's that one. And then 
one more visual art diary. I don't know what's in this one. It's a really old one there. Um, more drawing. And, yep, just that one. So you can use those. Now I have another sketchbook here. Um, so this is slightly bigger than the other one I had, and this is an A5 landscape. And it's also a Montmarty one. And I've used it so far just to do some illustrating with, um, I think I've used, these are gouache, but I've used some watercolours as well in here. So I've got, still got a lot to go in that one. Now the other thing is you can make your own journal. So this here was a piece of A4, no sorry, A3. Is like this large. I had an A3, um, just a drawing pad. It's not even watercolour, it's just a drawing pad. And because I've, um, of all the layers that I've done, I've gessoed and then I've done um, uh, collage and paint and, and um, gel medium and then more layers on the top. It's, it's held out really well. It's, quite shiny with the gel medium coating on the top so I used that as the cover and I just um, I just bound some of the pages together so I've got myself a journal there and the other thing is watercolour pads I like to use those because obviously they hold lots of layers any sort of watercolour blocks or watercolour pads. Not sure what I've got in here. Just practicing watercolour basically. But you can do mixed media on them. And that's another one there. And another little watercolour pad here. altering books. So I have a book here that I did this little painting on the book page. I think I covered it with a little bit of gesso first and then I did my drawing in pencil and I've used some uh, watercolour crayons or water soluble oil pastels they are and I've just painted that. And what I've done is stuck two pages together just to make it a little bit more sturdy. And I've got a couple more pages just prepared here with gesso, so you can do that. And the same with this one, but this is an old notebook. Um, and I think I might have a video on my channel of how I made this little notebook into an art journal. So it's just basically a notebook that had, um, it has plain paper and it has brown paper. And again, I've just, um, just did some stamping here. I just covered it with some of my papers. These are my cherry blossom papers from my cherry blossom paper kit. And then I've just stuck the pages together, I glued a couple of pages together. I think that's what I did. And again, your collage and your gesso and layers on top of that. So. I've done a few pages in here. So there you go. I thought I'd just give you a few ideas of um, different um, books that you can use for art journaling as well as your junk journal. And in my next video, I'm actually going to do some art journaling. And I'm going to be using, um, I think I had it here. I'm going to be using, in the Facebook group recently, I did put a free printable, which is some um, pretty little um, dresses. They're just little dress tags. And I'm going to use that. I'm not sure what else I'm going to use, but um, I'm going to make a little um, 
mixed media page from that. Okay guys, so thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.